Can you bring his hand all the way over the thing? Yeah, around the mower. Yeah. yeah. Should make mow crew bigger. Hey, Tyrone, come see our new t-shirt design. Check it out. So what, you guys getting those printed up? Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> awesome. Can we get out of here? You got me a date tonight. Oh, <laughs> shit. What time is it? here for you to clean in the morning. No, he's not. Hey, good luck tonight. Shows at the lamppost. It's just staring like dead on. Like what? <laughs> it's like that, I swear. Oh my god, they're coming over. Oh shit. Okay, I'm gonna stay off. I'm not letting him take you home. Thanks, that's sweet. Hello. That's a great set tonight. Do you mind if we join you? I know music. I work in music. And I want to sign you. Do you under? Sign you. Under What the hell just happened? I think our dream just came true.
Come on. Get up. I've got a lot to do today. Hello? What's up, Rockstar? What's up, man? Can you call me that all the time now? So everyone's a lazy bastard. I need you to come in. Nope. Come on, I'm fucked. Yesterday was my last day. We had the cookout. We got drunk. You told me you loved me. I didn't say that. Man, Sage will kill me. Come on, it'll be a fun, easy day, okay? 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 Okay, Jesus. <laughs> Good man. I'll see you at the yard. Good morning. Eric? Where's my tattoo? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. You. You're not in the shower. What'd you do? I got in the shower with you. Eric. Sabrina's in our shower. What is your sister doing in our shower? She's taking the place. You know that. You got in the shower with her? I got in the shower with you. You got naked with her? I got naked with you. You're an idiot. You're evil and a bad house guest. But I do know what my boyfriend looks like. It's because you run at any guy on this island. He's probably been your boyfriend at some point. I can tell you apart. Sage. It's upsetting. Mia break. Since you cut your hair, you two have the exact same look. The similarity ends there. I can tell you apart. I couldn't carry on a five minute conversation with her. Hey! Whereas you, we have conversations longer than that all the time. That's great, Eric. That's really great. I'm sorry, all right? As soon as I kissed her, I knew it wasn't you. You kissed her? I had it ready for work. You gotta get ready for what? Okay, that's great. We're looking forward to it too. Okay, that's great. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's great. Sounds good. All right, see you soon. Okay, is that great? Shut up, you kissed my sister. What? What if we get all the way out there, they don't want us anymore? And Stuck in LA with no money. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Your island is showing. A what? It's just, you know, you've never been outside New England. Uh, true, I visited your mom in Connecticut last year. Connecticut is in New England. No, it's in the Tri-State area. <laughs> it's both. No, that's ridiculous. Nothing. Nothing's wrong. I'm pumped to be moving off this rock. Proud of you, you know. Okay, can I go now? You scared of me? Terrified. You full of shit. <sighs> <laughs> See, Sabrina would never do that. Go to work. Careful around those mowers. You're gonna need your digits for the concert tonight.
61 shit the bet? Well, yeah, but uh, it's no big deal because we don't have any huge ones today. The bad news is we got Doughboy. No. Oh, see why I needed you now? He's your fucking replacement. But it, it's okay. It's, it'll be fine. We'll just put him on trimming all day. Now I gotta grab some paperwork. You gonna be all right out here? Yeah, what's our path? Uh, it's a 36 and two push mowers. One good one, one for mulching. Eric, you little fag, having trouble with those heavy mowers? Want to get that? It's done now. Yeah, sorry I'm late. But your mom's just giving some mean head this morning. Woo! <laughs> you should have been there. Great. I'm fucking with you. Come on, man. It needs to be done. Fuel. That's smart. I got this. All of this. It's under control, man. I thought yesterday was your last day. Yeah. Me too. Well, Matt moved me to Moku permanently. With Tyrone never showing, I figured I'd be number two in no time. There is no number two. Cause fuck construction crew. <laughs> you guys don't know shit. You know. Oh. <laughs> got it. I got it. It's cool. We cool. Hey, you got to do Clements today. Yeah, I got him down. Cause he's still the weed problem in the walkway. Well, they're on our 10-day cycle. Have the girls do the walkway. The garden girls have their hands full. When you finish with the mow, just give the walkway a spray with the burn it. What'll that take you, 10 minutes? What's it say on the side of all of our trucks? Tabor House. All organic. I haven't been able to get the Clements to come around yet. They love their weed killer. I don't even give a shit about the Kennys. Okay, but to have us do anything but lawns when we're constantly in the back of the line for new equipment and, and proper manpower, it's bullshit. What about Craig? Yeah, Craig. He's so excited to be on your crew. He's an idiot. Ugh. To be honest, mowing all day might not keep my interest. Yeah, well, maybe it's not for you. We're out of here. Morning, gay boy. Craig, you're in the back. Fuck you! No, no, fuck you. Cab's not big enough for three. You guys ride three with Tyrone all the time. Tyrone's half your size, so get in or stay here. That fucking door's still broken? Says the price. Hey, man, come see me at the end of the day when you're done. He's annoying. What the fuck, Craig? Ugh. <laughs> Moku guys sure work hard, don't ya? Oh, fuck. Bunch of winners we got here. Have a good day at work today, ladies. You know what they say about guys with big trucks? Small dicks. Looks like it fits so many in there. And that guy actually said something nice to me yesterday. What do you say? It's, you know, he was glad I got the opportunity and I deserve it. So? Oh. Yeah, I don't know that I deserve anything. Some dude saw our show and sees dollar signs. There's nothing really deserved there. No, there's not. It's luck. You got lucky. Yeah. That guy's an idiot. Maybe I shouldn't have come in today. It might have been better to quit while I was ahead. You did quit. You are ahead. Don't worry about it. Eight lawns and you're out of here. Who we got first? 
I'm not saying. Who do we got? Anymore, just the beach side. Why not? A lawn specialist got hired to take care of their crabgrass problem. We just do the guest house lawn now. What's a specialist gonna do? Probably dousing Kimmy's and have it looking worse than it already does. Yeah, maybe. It's not an easy day. What? You're trimming. I was wondering who was responsible for this spreading plague. We treated it in May. It's gonna take a full season for it to come around. Nothing you guys drop on it's gonna speed up the process. That's one opinion. My differing opinion seems to have won the account. Give me a hand or what? Tyrone would do it. The emergency, what is it? Come up in, we'll give you a ride. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking people bother me, man. There's probably 30 miles of bike path on this island, and she's got a jog in the middle of the goddamn street. I wish she'd accepted the ride. <laughs> she was hot. <laughs> Man, that jog who was stacked in all the right places. What'd you say to her? What jogger? I don't know what you're talking about. Go get his two ice coffees. Man, blow my nuts. Get whatever for yourself. Huh. Give me that. And I expect some change. Hey, you got that lighter? Eric and Chip. <laughs> Two of the island's finest, huh? Right. <laughs> you know, your partner here is my new hero. Is that true? I had no idea it meant so much. Actually, you're not my hero. Not yet. Once you get your tortured rock star thing going on and you're knee-deep in poon, then you'll be my hero. <laughs> now, all the women equal band breakup for this kid. They're the uh, Sonny and Cher of indie rock. Wait, you and Sage got the open relationship, no? No. Why? See that chick over there, man? Five bucks says she's all over my shit at the show tonight. Bad bet. You were with her last weekend. Which makes it a good bet. Wait, what about Sage? Oh, I don't know. Thought I saw her in there talking to some rich looking dude a few minutes ago. They might have appeared kind of close, but they're probably just friends, right? You sure it wasn't Sabrina? If only can tell them apart. That's true. Wait, though, Sage got a new haircut. Yeah, I know. 
I've seen it. Looks good on her. A few minutes ago, you saw it. Yeah, just now. Come on, save me for the five, man. Hell no. Hey, Richie. You're the band's headlining at the lamppost tonight. Last time was so amazing. Yeah, well, man. I don't know if I can make it. The band's got practice tonight. Uh, the band's got a show tonight? Shit, I'm late. Late. <laughs> I'd love to watch him go. What's your problem? Richie Rock said Sage was over here. Why would she be hanging out when she's running around like a freak all day? Eric, this is... Nathaniel. Nathaniel. Nathaniel, this is my sister's dipshit boyfriend. You thought Sage was kissing on some other guy? That's not what I thought. But you thought I was her. Well... Eric. What? She's all about you. I know that. Given her this opportunity to get the fuck out of here, there's nothing she would do she thought it might mess that up. I didn't give her anything. You're the one with the record deal? In theory. Kind of wait and see how it goes, I guess. You're spending your last day on the island working? So? It's just, <laughs> this ain't LA, bro. I'm from there. It's hot and dirty. You should take advantage of what you got. Thanks for the advice, bro. Some of us have to work. Lay off, Eric. He's got a point. Nothing else could be helping Sage out. She's running around like a chicken with its head cut off. Why aren't you at work? I'm sick. Don't tell Sage, please. Please, Eric? Whatever. We're coming to your show tonight. I've told Daniel. Nathaniel. Nathaniel, how great you guys are. You know, maybe you should be working today, too. I think your sister would appreciate you acting a bit more responsible. Come on, come on, come on, come on. get in, get in! Go! She is the great Sage de Betancourt. Are you gonna change your last name? It's kind of a mouthful. Don't you think it's a mouthful? How about Sage Advice? <laughs> what are you doing here anyway? You don't work here anymore. Can't come visit my best friend? Well, I'm flattered, but I'm pretty sure your best friend is off somewhere shortening grass. <laughs> Tending to some minor injury is more like it. Ah, motherfucker. Hey, we got any more of those band-aids? No. Suck on it. I'm here to pick up Sabrina. We're having lunch with my father. She's smoking out back? No, she's not. <sighs> Jeff, can you give me one minute? OK, but make it snappy. Or is that snippy? <laughs> <laughs> I'm really sorry. Make sure this is the last time. This it's... was the last time. No. She really likes it here. She's just an idiot. I'll straighten her out. Sage, I hired her two weeks ago, and this is the third time she hasn't shown. She's done. Look, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll see you tonight, OK? It's going to be fun. Tom? Yeah, pop the gas tank, please. Hey, Tom? We appreciate it when customers stay inside their vehicle. Yeah, I know. Look, I know I haven't always been kind to you. No. I was a bitch in high school. 
and I'm sorry. That was six years ago. Well, I'm sorry. Do you want something? Yes. Forget it. I want you to keep an eye on Sabrina. I know you guys barely know each other, but she's always said how sweet you are. Accept your apology, but I'm not doing any favors. She could use someone like you in her life. She's always trusting the wrong people and afraid she's gonna get in a bad situation. That's her number. She's gonna be in my old apartment. You don't have to do anything, but maybe you could just call her every once in a while. I'd really appreciate that. Tell you what, <clears throat> I'll do it. Oh, thank you, thank you. On one condition. You gotta sing me a song. Right here, right now. I can't do that. We're playing at the lamppost tonight. Come down, I'll dedicate you a song. I'm not a bar kind of guy. It's now or no deal. 35 bucks. Tom. Your voice is your ticket out of here. So let's hear it. Pack all your bags and I'll take you away. Won't be too lonely with you beside me. No one will know and no one will care. All I want to know is you will be there. Cause it's past time for leaving, boy. Yeah, it's past time for leaving, boy. Just say you're ready, baby. You know If she calls me, I'll talk to her. I'm not going anywhere. Lunchtime. That's right. You got that thing in my place. What thing? What thing? Talked about it last week. That's for the grass, bitches! Island wide rule! Suck on that, Tabor House! Looks stuck. Guys, this is a fine mess. You think your car is enough to get us out? Relax. The other guys are coming with a dumper. Now, somebody tell me how this all happened. I blame Eric. Well, we, we got a lot of lawns to hit. When are they coming? There may be some serious body damage. I need an explanation, guys. I bet the passenger door won't open. I told you I'm getting it fixed. Oh, right. No, boy. You responsible for this? What'd you do, lean on it? Hey, Nick, 
what? You're gonna tell me to pick on someone my own size? I brought these guys here to make up the difference. Why don't you take the day off for being a douchebag? What's your problem? You wanna know? Yeah. Hey, 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 you think I'm invisible? Sorry, man. Sorry, Where's Mario, the dumper? Mario. It's back at the intersection. It won't fit down here. But I think we got this. Let's just get all hands on that front bumper. Come on. All right, we're gonna need someone in the cab jamming this thing in reverse. Wait, whoa, no, whoa, Craig, whoa, Craig, Craig! Way. Oh, no, no, no. Eric, why don't you hop up in there? Heaven forbid we damage one of your precious little fingers. Say one more fucking thing, Nick. I, well, Eric, get in the cab. All right, now, when he starts it up, throws it in reverse, we're gonna count to three. Push this thing with all your might. Oh, you can't go in there. I have time at 12. Dad scheduled it. it. Must be a mistake. They're in meeting. If you want, I can set something up for this evening. He said be here at noon. I'm here at noon. <laughs> you know the rules. I, I have like three million things to do today. I can't come back this evening. Can you just tell him I'm here? I can only interrupt if it's an emergency. This isn't an emergency, but I'm leaving the island tomorrow. I'm moving away, like, for good. I just want to say goodbye to my father, you know, like one normal moment with him before I go? If that's the case, I'm sure you can find the time to come back later this evening. You know what, Nancy? Forget it. week for me. As you guys know, yesterday marked my third consecutive week sober. Why are you whispering? I'm not whispering. Um, good, o okay, good. Listen, remember I told you Chip wanted us to play at Little Jin's birthday party? No. Yeah, it's possible I forgot to tell you. It's, um, now. What's now? The birthday. It's the middle of the day. Say, she's three, and it's her birthday. Okay, well, I can't make it. Really? You gonna tell him you can't take 30 minutes out of your day? Okay, that's what I'll tell them. Okay, I'll be there. I gotta go. He said noon. You have two minutes. Then we're gonna talk about who's paying to replace that window. This is way unacceptable. Oh. Go ahead, say it. Enabler. Feel better? I'll pay for the window. I mixed up the days. I'm sorry. Jesus, Sage. Whatever. I just wanted to say goodbye. I thought your sister was coming. She couldn't make it. It's between the two of you to solve a riddle of scheduling family time from now on. <sighs> I gotta work on myself. Aren't you adult enough to see that? Yeah, it's that I'm so immature that you being arrested and put in here six times isn't interpreted as a solid effort. I'm trying. That's why I'm here. Yeah, well, while you're in there, all the rest of us are out here without you. Believe me, I want to be there for you and your sister. You want to be there for me? Prove it. Come to my show tonight, see me perform. See what I've been doing every weekend for the last three years. You know I can't. Leaving here violates my parole. It's at the lamppost. We're on at nine. A bar. You're dreaming. Yeah, lamppost. 
I think it's safe to say you know where that is. Fuck you, Gravel. So you got a job. It was all in one. Now you're a downtown guy. But she can read your blog. Talk and show the cute the golden cock. You drill and out the was the thing. Got you drink three day things about the way. From the woman that left you crowned her style. She worked a couple of days at the Children's Center. I don't think she was sober for any of them. Uh, but um, that was a long time ago. Yeah, she's different now. By the way, thank you for coming today. I'm sure you've got a thousand things to do. No, it's fine. This one. Chen just adores Eric. Yeah, he's a good with kids. By the way, holy shit. <laughs> I know. I mean, this is amazing for you guys. You must be thrilled. I am. I'm still wrapping my head around it. I mean, we haven't even played off the island before. I tried to book a show in Boston once, and Eric basically killed it by postponing and postponing. Those guys are so gay for each other. No, right? <laughs> hey, how come you guys like mowing lawns together so much? Oh my God. Uh, it's simple. Show up, lawn looks like hell, bang it out, and it looks great. You know, nothing in life is cut and dry. But they're thoroughly satisfying. There you go. You know, uh, Chip had a run of success as a musician. He did? No. <laughs> you told me you toured the country for two years after college. What was the name? Oh, uh, you remember the name. Broken Beaver. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> glam metal band. You're in a glam metal band? <laughs> oh, it wasn't so much that it was a glam metal band. Oh, uh, yeah, it was a glam metal band. <laughs> there's a tape. Oh, oh there's a tape? No. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> no. 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 Oh, I'm getting the tape. It is so good. You're going to love it. We thought for sure we were the next big thing, but after two years of barely making enough money to get high and put gas in the van, in that order, of course, <laughs> uh, we wised up. You did it, though. I did it all right. <laughs> hey, baby. Um, hello, is it the weekend? Yes, it is. Um, hello, it doesn't need to be, remember? And I think it's someone's special birthday. Thanks for having us, Diana. I'll be outside. 
Doughboy, let's go. Keep this, I have coffees. <laughs> you guys are gonna be great. Thank you. It was fun. How did I not know this? The guy's a dirtbag. Didn't want anything to do with his daughter until Chip got with Diana. At the same time, we lost four accounts to his crew, too. Who knows what he's been saying to our customers? What are you looking for? Water. There's a jug by the uh, sprayer. That's fucked up. You're not really going to do that, are you? I mean, you know, I, I don't care, but are you really gonna do that? Fuck him, he plays dirty. Doesn't mean he doesn't have expenses, like child support. What do you care? I don't. Well then shut up. <sighs> Everything all right? This fucking guy told Diana that we vandalized his truck. You also mentioned sending a rig into the woods? He denied it. Called me a liar. I mean, little Jen's in there. What am I supposed to do? Act like a girl, apparently. What, Craig? Nothing. What are you doing over there? You stirred up enough trouble today? It stops now, OK? Do me that favor, please. Now, come on, get in the truck. I can't believe he came. Fuck that guy. I don't want to talk about it. What are you doing over there by the truck? I was just... The it's water bottle? Yeah, it's waiting on you. Yeah? Yeah. You know what my neighborhood needs? Coffee shop. <laughs> it's true. Got the bus stop there, the ag hall, those galleries. And the general store's coffee tastes like piss water. You should do it. <laughs> I've had the idea for a while. The money's there, I just have to talk to some people. Yeah, why not, right? <sighs> you know that season is shit. I keep my sanity. Diana likes your sanity. <laughs> Diana likes my coffee shop idea, too. And the only problem I see is the owner consuming too much product. I'm doing it. This is your last day. This is my last day. Yeah, about <laughs> that. Don't do it. He's doing it. Slow down. What an asshole. Fucking shitty driver. I'm not going to Los Angeles. What's this? I'm not going. Maybe you could use some help opening that golf shop. Sure about this? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I am. Yeah? Yeah. Already got something in mind for the logo. Chips brew. It tastes like piss. You know it's not chips. Hey, huh? About Sage. <laughs> She's not gonna accept no for an answer at this point. I'm not sure how I'm gonna get out of it. I gotta figure something out though. Um. What? Oh. Jesus Christ, you thought we'd have heard something when he fell out. There he is, right there. Oh. You all right? What happened? You flung me out the fucking truck. How is that possible? I was standing on making a grass pillow and you whipped it around. You gotta hold on when you're riding in the back, Craig. You're a fucking asshole. Did you get hurt? What do you care? I need to know if you got hurt. 
No. I landed in those bushes over there. Well, I'm sorry if I scared you. I'm not scared. Those bushes over there are poison ivy and I get it really bad. Tomorrow I'm gonna look like one big fucking hive. You have any green soap in the truck? No. It doesn't matter anyways. Well, I've been sitting here waiting on you fuckers. My skin's already absorbing it. Get in the truck. I got just a thing. Come on, we gotta move fast. What is it? Trust me, I hate poison ivy. You heard the man, let's go. Five bathing suits. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> Moku's not so bad. <laughs> yeah, her salt water really works. <laughs> what? Ah, you'll be fine. But you know what, after this, I'll drive you up to Farley's, give you some training on the big mowers. I'll drop Eric off at Clemens. He can spray their driveway. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh. So where'd you get that scar on your back? A uh, shark attack. Skin. Oh, really? Maybe. So how are you? I haven't seen you in forever. No, don't worry about it. If it's not burning like hell, you must be in the clear. Maybe I should take a shower. Trust me, you're fine. Eric the lawn jockey. <laughs> be nice, I'll spell my name <laughs> in your lawn. I thought you moved to the city. I did. I'm back. This is my grandmother's place. Is Clemens is your grandmother? Mrs. Clemens is my grandmother. Huh. She's letting me stay here until I figure out what the hell I'm doing with my life. <laughs> right. <laughs> City life wasn't for you. I think I went for the wrong reasons, had some false expectations. After two years of being lonely, I decided to move back. Plus, I got into a little bit of trouble up there. Trouble? They called it an overdose, but I swear to God I never lost consciousness. How about you? You look good. What have you been up to? Besides killing weeds? In addition to killing weeds. This is not. I'm supposed to be moving to California tomorrow. You? California? Someone's putting you up to it. It's not crazy to think I'd leave this place, is it? Who? Sage. Tibetancourt. From Edgar Town. Slutty Sage. She may have been referred to as that in high school. You're sleeping with her? I'm living with her. Damn. You're cold. People change. You were lonely. With you? No, I mean in Boston. I think I'm gonna take that shower now. It was really good to see you.
So this disengages the blade, but still allows you to use the throttle. <laughs> obviously. Oh, obviously, right. So when you hit a rock with the blade or go over a hose, I'll expect you'll be kicking yourself for having known better. Not gonna happen. <laughs> Hello. Hi, some rather large branches came down by the gate. Oh, I got a chainsaw. I could take care of that for you. Oh, that would be wonderful. The other Tabor House guys were supposed to take care of it last week when they were edging the driveway and well, they didn't, and we've had to drive around it this whole time. Huh. Oh my, are, are you all right? <laughs> yeah, the chainsaw accident a few years back. It'll be a while to get comfortable with the tool again. Done. Maybe I could uh, use that to wash off. You mean use it now, don't you? Uh, Fine by me. I guess some things have changed since high school. What? What's changed? Forget it. Come on. Get in. Come on, let's have some fun. What we had was wasted on our youth. Yeah, that was good. That could have been great. Okay, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna get back in and close the door. And if you want in, if you really want in, just open it. Did you at all? Uh, it was good. Stamming up for the whole walkway? Uh, as far as that tree over there. That's 24. Come on, get in. Uh, I thought you might want a drink. It's so hot out. Um, okay. It's for all you guys. Yes. Katie. Hey, what are these for?
Eric's looking pretty good these days. I'm just saying, good for you, Sage. I don't know how you did it, but you caught yourself quite a catch. I guess after everyone graduated high school and entered the real world, competition must have thinned considerably. I mean, it must have. You saw Eric today? I did, he stopped by my place. We did a little catching up. It was really good to see him. Really sorry to see you haven't changed since high school. I'm actually kind of surprised. But cunt or not, I know Eric's always held you in high regard. So come to the lamppost tonight and say goodbye to him. You're not gonna see him again for a very long time. I don't need to. Pretty much everything we needed to say to each other was expressed in my grandmother's shower this afternoon. Sorry, I said cunt. You handled that much better than I would have, dear. Hello? Sage, it's Bernie. Big news. I'm heading to the airport. I'll be at your show tonight. Really? Wow. I've spoken with the club, and they're setting up so we can record your set tonight. That'll be fun. More than fun, sweet thing. I've been chatting you up to my boss, and things are in major motion. They are? It breaks down like this. There was some scheduling conflict with one of our acts, and now we've got a staff of songwriters and musicians that are being paid to sit around. My boss, Steve Sam, did you remember me mentioning him, right? Of course. Well, he's going to listen to the tape tomorrow, and if he likes it, I'm almost certain he will. And you guys won't have time to unpack before you're in the studio. Wow. Big wow. How's my man Eric? No. He's Eric. Sure. Say, no chance I could leave him behind and come out to LA on my own, is there? <laughs> you're kidding, right? Hello? Hey, how's everything going? How's it going? Great, how's everything with you? Not good, I held a bunch of chemicals. How's Katie? Who? What? Yeah, saw her at the Chillmark store. Basically told me to fuck this afternoon. Oh, and uh, Bernie's coming to our show, so no stress there. Can you believe her? I really don't care. What do you mean you don't care? Everything in my life is a fucking mess at the moment. Why should you be any different? I never wanted this. No, but I did. I've always wanted this. Can't you just do it for me? It's that easy, right? You leave my home, the place where I grew up, where I belong. You should just leave that because you... Because I what? Because you have dollar signs in your eyes. You trust some guy to mold you and shape you and put you on a pedestal so that you can become some product people will pay to have. Wow. I'm sorry I didn't say anything until now, but that's how I feel. You're really scared, aren't you? I'm not scared. You are. You're so terrified of change that it makes you completely irrational. I'm not irrational. You're naive. That's the problem. What do you think's going to happen? We move to the city and all of a sudden I lose interest in you? No. Because that's just stupid. If I was scared of losing you, why'd I fuck my ex-girlfriend? I've got options, you know.
Give me hangover? Not good. <laughs> That's what I said. Headache? Yep. Upset stomach? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yep, that stuff's nasty. Inhale just a little bit, it wreaks havoc. That's why, ooh, ooh, that's why I never touched that shit. <laughs> I hate you. Yeah, fair enough. Mm. Craziest thing. I was doing lines and I saw this like, fur patch in a part that I already went over. Please, no graphic details on mode kill. You ran over something with the blade? Well, that's what I thought, and then I put a neutral and checked. It was a rabbit's nest. A nest? Yeah, it's six inches deep. It was filled with all these little hairless little baby rabbits. Where? Over there, by that house there. Were they cute? Bag. Shut up. Not really. They were all wrinkly, and uh, their eyes were all clenched up, and they were all huddled together. There was like eight or nine of them. I ran over them with the 36. I was amazed and get sucked up with the blade. Yeah, we're thankful. Wait, wait, you didn't touch them, did you? Because the human sin will make the mom abandon them. No, as soon as I realized what it was, I didn't. I mean, I did touch the fur of the nest a little bit, but that won't hurt them, will it? No, they'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if they can survive a three-foot swinging blade driven over them, they can survive anything. Oh, uh, no. What? Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> Babe? Everything all right? I need you to talk to your son. What the? He's trying to back out on me. I really didn't think he would, but he is. He's gone pretty far to sabotage us leaving tomorrow. Did you tell him to stop being so selfish? He listens to you, Sage. Just talk to him. He's not listening to me. He's lying to me. He's lying to you? Well, he didn't say he didn't want to go. You know, we both know Eric's not a liar. No, I didn't In mean... the last two years, I'd say it's you who knows him better than me when it comes to knowing where his mind is at. Are you open? An opportunity is just that. There's no shame in letting one go by. Oh, I'm sorry, Sage, but I gotta get to work. It's okay, we're fine. Just a bit frightened. We had a couple drinks at the beach. I think this one spent a little too much time in the sun. She slipped, but we got it under control. Careful around that glass. Fine. Well, she may need stitches. Call 911. No, you heard her. She'll be fine. This cheap table just couldn't withstand the weight. All right, we'll wash up her arm, see how it looks. Thank you very much for your concern. What the? What's going on here? Eric, I'm fine. Like I said, thanks guys. You can go now. No, you're not staying here. It's okay, I'm okay. Beat it, guys. Because you're friends with Sabrina, I'm gonna count to 10. Then it's not gonna be friendly anymore. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six.
What did you take? I didn't take anything. You're such an asshole, Eric. What did they give you? Nothing. I had a drink. Don't be so mean. Those guys are just nice to me. They like to hang out with me. They like videotaping you. What are you talking about, Eric? Those guys are my friends. That you met yesterday. We gotta take her to the hospital. I don't need the hospital. Don't take me to the hospital. Sabrina, your arm is cut and you're all fucked up. I want Sage. We can take her to the hospital or we can take her to Sage. That's all we can do. Fuck! Fuck! People fucking suck. Do you know that? Whoa, 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 Eric. Get off the truck. Hey, drop the gas can. Get off. Hey, stop it. Where did I get my scar? Huh? Where? Car crash. That's right. On the way back from my girlfriend's apartment. I don't remember the argument anymore, but I remember I was furious. And I remember how good it felt when I jammed my foot down on that gas pedal. Even after the years of surgeries and physical therapy, not being able to work and being stuck on my couch, I still remember how good that felt. Just slow down. He's the asshole though, right? Yeah. But just think sometimes before you do shit. Are in it. <laughs> what? No time for a break, boys. Need this done before my company arrives. How we doing? Oh, she puked on me a little bit.
let us take it to the hospital. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna take it to the hospital. I can go. No, just fucking no, we're fine. Do you want me to come? Really, Eric? You've done such a great job of making today all about you. Why ruin it now? We got one more lawn today. Belushi's. I can push it back tomorrow if we call today. Should you go back? I kind of like you going back. Yeah? Yeah. All right. I'll go back. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. I got it, I got it, I got it. Do it again. Do it again, do it again. This part, this part? Yeah, yeah. Looks like we can expect more of this shit, huh? Oh, what the fuck? This is me. Wait, no, no, this is not good. No, it's not, but I took it too far. Take Goblin in, I'll meet you back there. What did you do? I, uh, I poured water in his gas cans. Well, you start some shit, I guess every once in a while you're gonna have to take your medicine. Looks like I might be your last one. What's up, guys? You fuckers owe me a lot of money. What for? For all my equipment seizing up and having to be brought to Jimbo's. 500 fucking dollars, because somebody thought it'd be cute to mess with our gas can. Well, I don't know anything about that. But if you guys want to talk about exchanging money, Goblin's going to need some serious body work after falling down that hill today. Who's Goblin? That truck. You guys are morons. If I actually thought I could get some money out of you, that would make me one, too. <laughs> So what, this comes down to like a fight, like we're 15 years old, huh? 
I'm the one being childish. That's good. That's funny. You bet your ass it does. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Whoa, hold on, Nick. You don't know what happened. I don't need to. Come on, man. You don't even like these guys. What doesn't matter? You're going to step in to help these two losers just because you both work for Mac? Yeah, looks like I am. Tabor House, motherfucker. guys getting into this time? Don't look at me, Mac. Look at the uh, numb nuts and his mint green morons here. You should have seen what they hey, did to the Goblin earlier today. It was, it was oh, all oh, shut, 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 shut the one dark no shut shut Hey, hey, hey! Your friend Craig's been banged up pretty bad, but he was built to survive worse. The doctor will be out with an update shortly. Go name Sabrina to bed and pour it. Going over today. Right, she's in room two hundred two down the hall. She's just resting now. If you'd like to see her. Okay, thanks. Oh my God, so the other day I couldn't believe it. She just she just sat right in my chair. I was like, seriously? It was. I mean, that's my seat. Like, you know. Hey. on how to convince your sister I didn't sleep with my ex? It's too late. Don't lie to her now. I really didn't is the thing. I'd be telling her the truth. You didn't? Why not? Sage? Of course you realize it now. We're having our first honest conversation in weeks. Let's drop that. Sabrina's in the next room. I fainted and they told me I could rest in here for a little bit. You fainted? Yeah. When they told me how much the medical bill was going to be, I dropped like a rock. It had been a pretty rough day up until that point. I guess I was due for the fall. How much? $900. Hey, is this Sabrina's phone? Yeah. Watch this. Why? What do you need that for? Hey, yeah, this is the lawnmower guy. What? Come on, we both know you didn't call the police. Listen to me. No, listen to me. Bring $1,400 to the lamppost tonight at 9.30. I don't care. I said I don't care. Now be there because I'm going to LA tomorrow and this is your last chance to get your daddy's car back. You're the papa for something else. Everything's gonna be all right. No, it's not. You don't wanna go. Until it all came out today, I hadn't even bothered to ask what you wanted or how you were feeling. My dad and my sister, I can't just move to the other side of the country. I don't know what I was thinking. We have this opportunity, but life's just getting in the way this time. Like, it's not meant to be. I don't know. I think the best thing you could do for your dad and your sister is to leave. I mean, they're both adults. At some point, you gotta put yourself first. And if you had asked me how I felt about all of this, I wouldn't have had an answer. I really didn't know. 
But you know now? Yeah. How? I don't want to be away from you. Now, maybe I am scared to go, but I'm also scared of losing you. I mean, you're my fucking life. You're such a pussy. <laughs> Thanks. I think with the phone was pretty badass though, right? What was that? That was the guy Sabrina was with. You're bribing him for hospital money? I mean, and another thing I got myself into with the Island White crew. You get this out free and clear. Okay. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Cool. Well, let's get going. We got a show to play. Think anyone's gonna show up? Yeah, it's tough to say. I think everyone we know is in the hospital. Whoa. For our last show. If you haven't packed all the towels and the soap and all my clothes. Hey, on. Hey, Mom. What the hell happened to you? Oh, yeah, about it. will be okay. <laughs> hey, aren't you guys supposed to be going on right about now? It's our last show. They can wait. <laughs> Thank you. You didn't do anything. Come on. Come on. Respect the fans. Isn't that rule number one? I feel like we've lost touch. We better get out there. Eric? What? You'll be working with some of the top songwriters and musicians on your album, and they can be tough with pushing their opinion. I want you to fight for your voice. Can you do this for me? I need What? See it? This is such bullshit. Fine. Better hurry up. Tide started coming in an hour ago. What the fuck? Oh, okay, Asta. Not a chance, Mountain Man. This night gets an award. Not sure which one, but uh, medals will definitely be handed out. What were you saying? I was just giving you advice on how to deal with studio musicians. They say said we should play the songs as they're written. It's your night. Tomorrow, get to business. Look, we snuck a little Jen in. Excellent. Hey, uh, Mac wanted me to tell you that you always got a place at Taylor House. He means it, too. You got a pretty good crowd here. You better get started before they turn on you. <laughs> Three primes in a pool, baby? Three primes in a pool, baby. something heartfelt to say at this moment, this moment being our last shot at the lamppost for a while, and I came up with nothing. Total blank. But then I ran into Trina just now. Benito, circuit up! Your fifth gun is free! And uh, aside from offering her services, 
She told me I should just dedicate a song, so I will. I'm gonna dedicate the whole set to you, all of you, because you're here now and it means the world to me. I was, um, I'll be there tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry to tell you, but Doughboy's the new number two. Number two? What's that? Trust me, you'll find out. And I don't care what Max says, you miss one more time, you're fucking done. Hey, what's Richie Rock doing on stage? I love you, Richie Rock! <laughs> So there's a killer song we'd like to play. It was written by that man, right there. Get up your chip.
lazy I have to be sitting in the diner Checking outside the window Talking in the new Jaumana What are we living for? Where can we go from here? Talking.